Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel once again. In my previous video, we have performed activity 2.5. In today's video, we are going to perform an activity 2.6 and we will discuss question and answers related to this activity. From this activity, we will learn how acids and bases react with each other and also the concept of neutralization reaction. To perform this activity, we require test tube, 2 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution, dilute hydrochloric acid and phenolphthalein solution. Here phenolphthalein is an indicator. Take about 2 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide in a test tube and add 2 drops of phenolphthalein solution. After adding a phenolphthalein to a base sodium hydroxide solution, the color of solution becomes pink. Next step is add dilute hydrochloric acid to this solution drop by drop. The color of solution fades. If we keep on adding hydrochloric acid, the solution becomes colorless. Now question arises, why did the color of phenolphthalein change after the addition of an acid? This is because hydrochloric acid is being a strong acid will neutralize a base sodium hydroxide. Now add a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution again to the same solution. Again the color of solution becomes pink. This is because the base sodium hydroxide will neutralize the acid. The reaction taking place is written as when sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride and water. Such type of reaction is called neutralization reaction. That is the reaction between an acid and a base to give a salt and water is known as neutralization reaction. In general, a neutralization reaction can be written as base plus acid gives salt plus water. Now we will discuss question and answers related to activity 2.6. First one is, first one is what is neutralization reaction due to examples? The answer is the reaction between an acid and a base to give salt and water is known as neutralization reaction. First example is a base sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride and water. Here the sodium chloride is a salt. Second example is during indigestion the person should be given an antacid like milk of magnesia, magnesium hydroxide which is basic in nature. The antacid neutralizes the excess of acid and thus gives relief from indigestion. This reaction can be written as magnesium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid gives magnesium chloride and water. Here magnesium chloride is a salt. Second question is name the products when acids and bases react with each other. The answer is when acids and bases react with each other the salt and water are produced. Next one is multiple choice question. 10 ml of solution of sodium hydroxide is found to be completely neutralized by 8 ml of given solution of hydrochloric acid. If we take 20 ml of same solution of sodium hydroxide, the amount of sodium hydroxide solution, the same solution as before, required to neutralize it will be. The four options are 4 ml, 8 ml, 12 ml and 16 ml. The answer is option D 16 ml. This was about activity 2.6 and question and answers related to this activity. Thank you so much for watching this video.